Okay guys, this is our grounding and bonding uh, module nine video. Uh, a couple things I wanna go over with you. I don't have much to really show you here, so I'm gonna show you what I can. Okay, this is a typical disconnect right here. You see here how it has, this is looks like our grounds. This could be either used for neutrals or grounds. That's when you'd have to take your grounding screw, insert it into here, and then tighten it in. And now this becomes a ground for our disconnect, okay? Before, without this, this could be used as neutrals and we'd have to put a separate lug in for grounds. Okay, this would be where we land into our disconnect. You see how these are our concentric knockouts. So being these are concentric knockouts, we're not allowed to now use our metal raceway as our equipment ground. The only way I could use my metal raceway as an equipment ground would be to use a bonding bushing on the inside of this. This ain't the right size, but I would have to use a bonding bushing and then ground this bonding bushing to the can itself if I was to use my EMT or rigid as a raceway. Now, if I had the knockout completely out and I was using the full without the concentric, I could use my raceway without the bonding bushing. Anytime pipes are coming up in the bottom of a panel and they're, they're a rigid metal pipe stubbed through, you're gonna have to put bonding bushings on all your pipes with the ground wire bonding all your pipes to the frame of your panel or can, okay? Right here, this is a 12 by 12. It's a metal box. So I'm definitely gonna have to ground my box, okay? Coming out of it, I'm gonna have the grounds again. Concentric knockouts, if you're gonna have concentric knockouts, you're not allowed to use your metal raceway as an equipment grounding conductor. Four, four square box. Again, I'm gonna have to use a ground screw or a ground clip, which just clips right onto it, to, to ground my box for equipment grounding. Now, in this box, am I allowed to use this screw or like where it screws in to ground in to the box to ground it? No, because these threads aren't small enough to count for the ground. They want at least a 10, 30 second threads. I think they want two threads within into the metal. That's why like these screws, they hold the lug, but they're not a legal grounding screw. It has to be a 10, 30 second threaded screw. Okay, plastic box. Do I ground it? No, there's no way to ground it, but you can turn around and you will have to ground your device inside the box. Now, any grounds inside the box, if there's more than two wires, you're not allowed to tie them together on the ground itself. You'd have to crimp sleeve or wire nut your grounds with a pigtail feeding your device. Okay, this is a replica of a 100 amp service panel. Now remember, in your main service panel, all your grounds and neutrals land onto the same bus bar. And it even mounts, it even is the same in a stand-up service or anything else. When you have a metered section, all your grounds and neutrals are gonna be mounted to the same. Now you see on this one, we have our Grounding wires, we have to come and feed. We have to do our water bond, which feeds our water. See how you have, this is what's called an armored ground clamp. And anytime this comes out of the wall, we have to have it in an armored ground. So this is an armored ground to our water bond. This is a replica of a Eufer ground, a piece of number four rebar coming out of the concrete. This is our ground. And we'd also have to ground our gas pipes or any other metal water piping in the either house or residence or commercial building, depending on what you're grounding, okay? Okay, now this being a sub panel, a lot of houses wired back east or up in the mountains, the main panel, the main, the meter is not with the, the actual panel itself. They have just what's called the meter socket outside 
and then it comes inside to basically a sub panel like this. So this technically would be our main service panel. So you're gonna take this, this equipment grounding jumper, and you got a good line on it, and you'd have to bond it to the can, and now I could turn around and put my grounds and neutrals together, even though this is a sub, but it's not a sub because it's, it's considered my main panel because the meter, you know, it has a separate meter socket, not a meter main. 